Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is that time of year again where the Sephora VIB Summer Bullet Bonus Sale has sprung up on us again. So today I have a shorter recommendations video for you just because this is the bonus and I feel like the sale kind of creeped up on us. I don't have a ton of recommendations. This isn't going to be like a super, super lengthy recommendations video, at least I hope not. I just have like one or two items from each category of makeup and then some skincare items to recommend to you guys in case you're looking for recommendations for the sale. I know for me personally, I'm going to try and be really good during this sale. There are a few new items that I want to pick up, like the new ABH Jackie Ina palette and some new foundations. But other than that, I'm going to try and be pretty well behaved during the sale and kind of save it for the like semi-annual Sephora VAB sale that comes every like November-ish. But if you guys are interested in some of my recommendations for this Sephora VAB sale, then stay tuned. But first, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll consider doing so before you go. I post videos every single Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And without further ado, let's get into some recommendations. Okay, so like I said, I really tried to cure... Okay, so like I said, I really tried to curate this list to just really some staples in my collection that I have loved and loved for a really long time, uh, with the exception of a few newer products, um, starting with primer. So this one is a little bit newer to me. This is the First Aid Beauty Pores Be Gone Matte Primer, and I have really been enjoying this over the course of the last month and a half to two months. It does smooth out the skin and fill the pores, but it still feels hydrating, which is why I really, really have been enjoying this. I also feel like First Aid Beauty's primer prices are pretty fair in comparison to other high-end primer prices. I think it's $28, and you get 1.7 fluid ounces. If you are looking for more of an illuminating primer, I would recommend the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer, which is my favorite primer, but wanted to recommend both of those primers to you for the primer category. For foundation, I have two that I want to recommend to you guys. I have really been enjoying the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation and I feel like this is a really good one kind of to transition from summer to like fall winter because it is a comfort matte and I feel like this is pretty long lasting but still very comfortable and doesn't leave me looking so flat that I don't like it. Typically I tend to prefer a more natural leaning radiant finish but I have loved the Too Faced uh Peach Perfect foundation and you do get I think 1.7 fluid ounces for this or like one you get over a fluid ounce for this and it's only $36 so I feel like that is also a pretty good price but if you don't like matte foundations and you're looking for something a little bit more radiant one of my favorite radiant foundations is the YSL is the YSL Touche Clot Radiance Awakening Foundation. Now this is a very expensive foundation, which is why I wanted to recommend that you get it on sale, but this is definitely a staple in my collection and one that I will repurchase when I finish. I just have one concealer to recommend to you guys. It is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. Love this concealer and I feel like you would really like this if you like a hydrating sort of medium coverage concealer. If you're looking for a more full coverage concealer, I would probably recommend the Too Faced Born This Way. Another foundation that I would recommend is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Such a good foundation. But um, this is one that I've really, really, really been loving and enjoying this year. And for me personally, I don't go for a full coverage concealer every single day. So this is one that I'm reaching for very often. It took me a long time to bite the bullet and actually purchase this. In fact, I purchased this during the last Sephora VIB sale in May, but have been loving it ever since and wanted to recommend this to you guys. For powder, it's going to have to be the Hourglass Veil Powder. Veil Powder, right? Yes, Veil. Um, really love this powder. Definitely my favorite pressed or loose powder that I've tried in all of the loose powders that I've tried, which I haven't tried a ton, but this would definitely be my favorite because it doesn't leave the skin looking dry at all or cakey, and it leaves this radiance to the skin without being like without there being like glitter or shimmer in there i like i feel like even if you had like oily skin you would really like this powder so wanted to recommend that as my powder for bronzer i have two to recommend i have really been enjoying the cover effects bronzing duo i have mine in the lighter one which is sun-kissed bronze looks like this now i get where we're transitioning towards fall winter so we maybe won't be using the like glowy side as much but even this alone i love as a beautiful matte bronzer 
it's so beautiful and i'm so happy to have this in my collection so i definitely wanted to recommend this to you guys and then also i wanted to recommend the fenty beauty sunstalker bronzer i have mine in it's either the lighter shade the lightest shade or the second lightest shade it's in the sun which is a little bit or has been a little bit too light for me in the summer but really excited to pull this back out for fall winter in fact i just rotated this into my last shot my stash rotation and i did put more self tanner on so it's still been a little light for me but it just reminded me of how much i really do love this bronzer now i know this one has been a little bit hit or miss i feel like some people think it pulls super warm on them but i personally have not had this issue really have enjoyed the formula i think it's very easy to blend out very soft very smooth and creamy so highly recommend the fenty bronzers for blush i have three to recommend uh, i wanted to also recommend the cover effects blush duos um this one is in the shade soft peach which i really like for my skin tone personally i believe that they have six different options and all of them are very very beautiful i'm trying to think i think i also have warm honey which is a little bit deeper and i'm really excited to pull that one out for the fall because i think it's going to be just a beautiful fall shade again really love the formula on these very very pigmented blushes so i feel like you get even though they're expensive i feel like you get your money's worth on them and then you guys know the buxom blushes are my favorite i know i personally want to pick up dolly which is more of like a mauve tone blush i think it'll be beautiful for the fall time my favorite is the seychelles blush which is this one right here which is this beautiful nude blush it does have like a satin shimmery finish to it but it's not like i i would wear this and i will wear this in the fall winter it's not so glowy that i feel like i can't get away with it so love this and then i have also been loving the mykonos blush which is this one right here i actually have this on my cheeks today blended out very lightly um it's this beautiful coral blush i feel like i'm not going to be able to get away with this one so much in the fall winter uh but this blush formula is so good you guys and then the last one i wanted to recommend was the hourglass mood exposure blush this is such a beautiful blush you guys i just have mine in the mini I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it swatched but it's this beautiful mauve tone blush that again like has a bit of a glow to it without looking glowy i don't know how to explain it but it's so beautiful i love this formula would recommend getting this in a mini if you're ordering online or if your sephora carries the mini i've used this mini so many times and i'm nowhere even close to finishing this up i know hourglass is super expensive so that's why I'd recommend the mini and recommend getting this on sale, but the Mood Exposure Blush is one of my favorite blushes in my collection. For highlights, one of my favorite highlights in the winter is this Dior blush. This is in the shade 2. I personally love pinky toned highlights in the winter time. There it is swatched right there. It's so beautiful. So this is in the shade 2. I don't know if it has like an actual name other than 2. And they've since changed the packaging. It's a little bit slimmer now i have the old packaging but highly recommend the dior highlights i think they're beautiful they're luxurious they just they're top notch highly highly recommend and then my favorite highlighting formula and this one always gives me trouble to open so this isn't my favorite of all of the ones that she carries but the fenty beauty kilowatt highlighter my personal favorite is in lightning dust and fire crystal this one is in girl next door and chic freak i just love the fact that you get a subtle highlight mixed with a more intense highlight genius um and i also love the formulas so. so this is one that i would definitely recommend checking out if you have not yet one face palette that i wanted to recommend that i talk about a lot on my channel is the smashbox cali contour palette this is such an amazing like all-encompassing face palette you have a setting powder you have a contour shade you have a bronzer shade you have a beautiful blush shade and then you have two highlights the highlights aren't my favorite but i do really love everything else in this palette the setting shade probably isn't my absolute favorite but it works i just really 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 love this palette and really stand behind this palette 39 dollars, and then you could get it on sale highly 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 but like this would probably be like my number one recommendation in the sale for eyeshadow palettes i mean i could talk about eyeshadow palettes all day in fact i have a palette week coming out a full week of videos just talking about eyeshadow palettes in different ways um but the two that i wanted to recommend so first huda obsessions palettes i personally really love and as we transition into the fall i would highly recommend checking out the warm brown warm brown obsessions palette which is this one right here as well as the mob obsessions palette 
which is another favorite of mine. And then this is such an expensive item, so would definitely recommend getting on sale if you're going to. But the Natasha Denona, la, 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 la. the Natasha Denona Lila palette remains a favorite of mine. And what I just love about this palette is the unique shimmers. I just love this palette. So if you've been considering splurging on a Natasha Denona palette, this is the one that like remains my favorite even out of some of the other ones that i've tried i just think again the shimmers in this one are so so unique and i think that this would be a fun fall time palette as well for brows you guys know i love my abh brow powder duo so if you're looking for a good brow powder i definitely recommend checking out the abh brow powder duo uh, for eyeliner, I wanted to recommend the Milk Makeup Eyeliners. They don't have a wide range for their color selection. What do they call these? They're long wear gel eyeliners, but I think that they are really nice eyeliners if you're just looking for like a basic brown or something for your waterline. Uh, I really like the shade. I think it's Bonus or is it CEO? So this is Bonus, which is just a nice dark brown, but it has almost like a hint of a shimmer to it and I think it's beautiful. Again, they last a really long time in your waterline and then i also really love the urban decay 24 7 glide on pencils i've definitely had a few duds in my collection specifically heartless which was a light pink but i don't even think you can purchase that anymore so maybe that was just like a fluke although i did see that the urban decay 24 7 glide ons are going to be part of the ulta 21 days of beauty sale i can't remember what specific day but these are going to be half off wanted to mention these but would get them at half off not during the sephora vip sale for mascara, one mascara that's high-end that I really do love is the Milk Kush Mascara. And also, I should have grabbed this, the Hourglass Caution Mascara. Both mascaras, I really, really like. And I actually like to like pair them together and use the Caution Mascara almost as like an eyelash primer. And then go in with the Milk Kush because I feel like the Milk Kush gives me the volume that I want. While the Hourglass Caution gives me like the length and separation that I want. So those are two high-end mascaras that I really like. Mascara is one that's like super touchy for me that I don't necessarily always feel like it's worth splurging on Even at 20% off like it's just so expensive But if you do like to invest or splurge on your mascaras Those are two that I really really do like and then for lips for gloss formula It's gonna go to Fenty gloss bomb highly recommend checking these out if you have not yet my personal favorite is the original gloss bomb and then i actually also really love diamond milk it's just very unique and sparkly if you don't like a sparkly gloss you probably won't necessarily even like the gloss bombs but i love fenty gloss bomb and then for lipsticks i love the tarte rainforest of the sea lipstick formula tarte rum punch is a personal fave and then i also have on my lips today five o'clock nope surfs up so surfs up is on my lips today which i think is going to be a really nice one for the fall time and then i also wanted to recommend five o'clock because i think this will be another beautiful shade for the fall there it is right there with these these are super super creamy and hydrating lipstick formulas if you don't like that and you like more of like a really matte lipstick i don't necessarily know that i would recommend this just because they are super creamy but i've never had issues with these transferring and i also feel like these last a pretty decent amount of time for being like a creamier formula i don't think that these are going to last through a meal by any means but if you're just wearing these and going and these also reapply very easily so if you have not checked out the tarte rainforest of the sea lipsticks i definitely feel like you're missing out and then finally i just have a few skincare products skincare favorites to recommend to you guys so first if you are looking for a really really nice luxurious cleansing balm um i have been loving the drunk elephant slay makeup melting butter cleanser in fact i'm almost out of mine i don't think i'm going to repurchase this during this sale i'm going to wait until the like november sale and purchase it then just because there's one other balm i want to finish up and i want to kind of work on having less in my collection but i definitely am going to be repurchasing this it's just so easy to work with and it does such a nice job of just melting all of your makeup and it's a perfect first step so definitely recommend this for vitamin c i was skeptical at first about this but this is the tarte youth or dare multi-acid and vitamin c serum 
I have really fallen in love with this over the course of the last two or three months. I just think it's a really, really, really nice serum, nice vitamin C. I love the packaging. You actually get a really good amount of product and this is only $42, which is actually like not that expensive for a vitamin C serum. So really been enjoying this. I've been kind of going back and forth on whether or not I want to repurchase this or the Ola Henriksen Truth Serum when I finish this. I feel like maybe I'll go back and forth. Those are my two favorite vitamin C's, but wanted to mention this because at first I was skeptical, but I really do or really have fallen in love with this. Um, another like serum set or serum and cream that I love. So from Ola Henriksen, which is one of my absolute favorite skincare brands, I have their Morning Glow Cycle Retin Alt Power Serum, which is this right here, which does give a nice, beautiful glow to the skin. And this is sort of like an alternative for retinols, and I don't find that it's too harsh on my skin. My skin doesn't get super sensitive to this, which is really, really nice. And then their evening time like moisturizer that goes along with this is the Goodnight Glow Retinol Sleeping Creme. And I love this. It smells like lavender and lemon almost. I just love the scent of this. I use this every single night and I don't, again, I don't find that my skin gets super, super sensitive. As we transition into the winter time, I feel like I'm going to have to go in with this maybe like three or four times a week and then use a super intense moisturizer the other nights of the week just because my skin can get super dry. Not that this is drying it out, but it just gets so dry in the winter time and this isn't necessarily like uber uber moisturizing like the product that i'm going to get into but both of this and the morning serum are definitely going to be repurchases for me because i love them and i know they just came out with a facial like a i forget what they call it but i'm definitely going to be picking that up during the sale i think because i just love this line for my moisturizer in the winter time it's going to be the Baloo, Baloo, <laughs> the Belief Moisturizing Balm. I like the Moisturizing Balm over the Aqua Balm because I have super dry skin, so this is definitely more moisturizing and more of what I need. I like to always have this in my collection, and I've recently also gotten my husband hooked on this, so I'm really excited. I don't have to feel as guilty when I purchase this now because he uses it too. And then also the Belief Moisturizing Balm I use every single night for my eyes, and it makes such a difference, you guys. I absolutely love this. I used to not believe in eye creams or things like that, but I use this religiously every single night and I absolutely love it. So if you find you have dry uh, under eyes or even dry eyelids, I definitely recommend checking out the Belief Moisturizing Balm. I think they have a couple other eye creams in their collection that I'm interested in, but I just am so in love with this that like... I don't really want to try anything new. And then lastly, as we kind of get into the fall winter, my lips get even more dry than they already are. So it's always going to be the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, either this or the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I kind of go between the two. Usually I just have this one like in my nightstand that I use at night and then I'll use the uh, Bite Beauty one honestly throughout the day, even though it's so thick. Sometimes I just need that. So recommend both of those if you have dry lips. Both are a thick formula. So if you like don't like a thick lip formula at all, like you're not gonna like it. But if you need something that's gonna save those dry lips, either of those are gonna work for you. But after that, that is going to conclude my shorter, I hope, recommendations video for the Sephora VIB bonus sale. I will have all the sale information linked down below for you guys. It does, um, what am I thinking? It starts tomorrow for VIB Rouge. So it starts tomorrow. I know I'll be placing my order tomorrow. I also have my Sephora loves list going up tomorrow in case you guys want to see like what I'm kind of going back and forth on trying to decide if I want for the sale. That video will be posted tomorrow, but thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you plan to pick up during the sale and I will see you during my next video. Bye.